Tonight, a popular mural in downtown Phoenix that stood for nearly a decade vandalized beyond repair. You may have seen it if you were downtown at first Friday or even driving down Roosevelt Row. Tonight, Team 12's Chase Golightly talking with the man behind it and those that it inspired. Roosevelt Row and murals go hand in hand. So when one of the most popular art pieces was vandalized, everyone noticed. Roosevelt Row is a canvas for local artists. You know, what does art really mean down here? It's a total joy. A canvas that transformed this part of downtown Phoenix. And I've seen it go from really nothing to what it is right now. Murals painted all over buildings, high and low. I think it's really nice to just walk around and look at the different types of murals. They want their picture taken and we're the best to do it then in front of a place. Each one with its own story and message. It means community, it means expansion. Inspiring the people and artists who come here. It's just a great energy, great atmosphere, creative juices flowing and as an artist you pick up on that energy. I love the murals and they're always ever changing. But one mural went through a change the artist behind it didn't want. It was called The Garden painted by Brian Boner. He tells us for eight years it was the focus of Roosevelt Row, showing a young boy and a flock of birds taking flight. I actually really loved it, and I like that they kept it as a blank white canvas on the back so it stood out still, and it still had that peaceful feeling. Recently, someone vandalized it beyond repair, leading to the mural having to be painted over. As heartbreaking as it was for its creator, it also hit those who had their photos taken here, and the artists who admired it. I think it's really sad that people would do that, especially because artists take so much time. That, that would hurt, that would hurt me, you know, like, you get mad, you wanna fight somebody. However, they say it's a risk they take when doing pieces like this, believing the one who created it shouldn't give up. I hope that the artist really does take it and is just like, hey, I'm gonna come back stronger, you know? Well, he can come out and do it again, and uh, something better, something different. Wanting him to see this wall instead, as a brand new canvas. Now the artist also tells me he is in contact with the property owners and plans to bring another mural to life in the same spot. We're in downtown Phoenix. Chase Golightly, 12 News.